Tolong, tolong jagain baik. As well as representative of international organization. Asia Africa will be non-exclusive concert of nations living in peace and harmony, founded in partnership and conscious of its historic and cultural roots. And inshallah, it will be one caring society where our people will live in comfort and dignity, free from fear of violence, oppression and injustice, and we will all be free from the clutches of poverty and at liberty to rise to our fullest potential. That will be the ultimate freedom. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. For the sake of your peoples, this is the time for to be created and to be bold. I appeal to each of you to come to New York in September for the summit. And I ask you to instruct your representatives in New York to work energetically in the coming months to agree on language and decisions that will allow you, their leaders, to approve a historic reform and renewal of the United Nations. ...and SEDEC for Southerners have contributed towards growth and development. Poverty is the enemy of all. Poverty bleeds insecurity and instability. Poverty bleeds pandemics and disease. Poverty bleeds conflict and eventually terrorism. So today, we can reinvigorate the Bandung spirit only if this summit seeds this golden opportunity to come up with a concrete set of recommendations to eliminate poverty through a new Asian-African strategic partnership. Prosperity cannot be allowed to shrink. This summit, with its declaration of plan of action, has provided yet again a blueprint for translating our joint aspirations into measures aimed at benefiting our peoples. Let me assure you that Pakistan will continue its efforts to strengthen the political, socio-cultural, and economic bonds between all our countries at the bilateral, regional, and global levels. I thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I thank the president for his...